Alright, what is going on guys? Smoke here today, bring you guys some more Fight Night Champion online, and uh, oh, that last video though, what about that last video though, where I knocked that guy out in, in uh, I want to say, less than two minutes, flat, flatlined him, um, let's go though, let's do this. I did say I was going to uh, do some more uh, Fight Night Champions, and I'm a man of my word. Let's go ahead and go down to middleweight. Eventually, I'll do some heavyweight, and I'll mix it up with some lightweight and stuff like that. I'm just so comfortable with the uh, the middleweight division and the uh, the welterweight division right now. Mm -hmm. All right. So we managed to get into another lobby, and uh, I'm gonna see if uh, well, let's see who he's gonna pick first. Or I'm just gonna pick Neo Koto, I guess. Let's see who he's gonna pick. All right, so he picked Julio Julio Cesar Chavez, which this guy is a fucking beast and a legend. Um. So, this is probably going to be a defensive fight. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Miguel Cotto is a defensive fighter. At times, he can be a little aggressive. But I know Julio Cesar Chavez is a defensive fighter as well. He can be somewhat aggressive as well. Um, but uh, let's see what how this, uh, this fight turns out. sense right away that strategy is going to be key All here right. this isn't going to be some wild type draw this is going to be a very Ooh, i got that first fight. counter though absolutely joe each guy waiting for the other one to make the first mistake a well targeted All right. landed by miguel Cotto. teddy the expectation in a matchup like this a power puncher versus power puncher is that the fight's not going to last long but what if it does? Then what? The guy with less power is going to win because he's a guy that has a reserve. A reserve. I can't stay in the ropes like this. In case the power is not there. All right. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Yeah, see, both fighters are defensive fighters, so he's using them smart. I mean, I ain't mad at him. He just got popped, though. He just got decked right in his face. Come on, guy. You know you want to fight. I got all day. Come on. Oh damn! That's one thing I can't underestimate with with uh, with Chavez is his uh, his power, pretty much. Oh, let me turn on this music. <clears throat> this guy's showboating. All right, so. He managed to wobble me in that round right there. But we're going to jump back, I'm telling you guys. We're going to come back. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to knock his ass out. I can already see it. Start of a new round. Cotto's making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, so, he was on. stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here with great Chavez is banged by a left. Did you Let's go! Get the fuck out of here. landed in that combination, and he goes down hard. I told you I was going to fucking bang him up. Come on, get up. Get up. Get up, dude. Get up, dude. He rises to his feet, but now 
some questions to be answered. Well, the old timers would say you've never seen a fighter test it till they've been on the floor. Going down is one part. When you get up, what do you do? Not just get up. What do you do now? That makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Cotto's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Blocks the headshot. Come on. Halfway through round number two. Scored well with the hook after blocking that shot. With Chavez early on in a fight, how can you get a sense that things can be heading his way? Because his approach never changes. Come on, boy. What's up? It's always the same. It's always steady. Even when you, you, you ain't got what it takes. Come on, man. He looks like he's just out for a walk. He doesn't even take a deep breath. Cotto's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. This guy, he's fighting very Another defensively. Shot to the head. Last 10 seconds. Yeah, he's, he's fighting pretty defensively, but I, I managed to knock him down. Like I said, I'm going to knock this guy out. This guy is going to, I'm telling you, I'm going to lay his ass on his, I'm going to lay him flat on his ass. I ain't playing. Watch. You guys are going to see me do it. Chavez has got to hope that these 60 seconds are going to pay off for him here. Went down hard in that last round. He's got to gather himself because you know his opponent's going to come right after him when that bell rings. Pulls the trigger fast. Targets the hook and blocking that shot. Photo's combination punching is working well here. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. In and out. In and out. All right, come on. Back and forth exchange. Come on, Kodo. You're Shot supposed to back up. <laughs> you see how quickly he pulls the trigger on the hook after that block. Halfway through this round here. Let's go. What an excellent two-punch combo by Julio Cesar Chavez. Chavez is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. A great train uppercut by Miguel Cotto. Ooh, okay. Okay, I see you, Chavez. Keep your hands up. Come on. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Chavez. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Cotto's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the Ah, see, I got to watch it with those body, those body shots. Put it into the equation where I got to watch it with those body shots. It has to be technically right, but now you put speed. That's one thing about Chavez is that he's got heart. So, I mean, this guy, he's not, he's not easy to knock out. Because even if I, even if I do knock him down again, I mean... He still has the stats and the heart to get back up. So it's it's gonna be I think I I think I'll get him around I wanna say around the eighth round. I think I'll knock him out. Around the eighth round I'll knock him out. The eighth or the ninth round. As you guys can see, he's already bleeding. He's already he's already, he already got his shit busted. So yeah, stay tuned for this knockout, I'm telling you. Watch. It's coming. It's, it's coming. This is a fairly competitive, tight fight. The difference being, of course, we did have a knockdown scored as you look at Teddy's scorecard. And that's what professional boxing is about, putting fannies in the seats. A harder puncher, the guy who's more effective, the guy who puts more hurt on you, gets the round. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. 
Chavez is not firing off a big Ooh, power punch. Okay. I wonder why. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what it come back at him. Come on, let's go, kid. Halfway through this ah. Run. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta mm. love the work by Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto showing that he's got I think I would have been have knocked them out if there were if 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 this shit had like no latencies at all. Oh, there he goes. There we go. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you the knockdown's coming? Now get your ass up. Fight. What's up? What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you he had the heart? Like, his stats, I'm telling you, man. This, the guy's stats is ridiculous. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you oh, grab Oh, shit. Him. He's fighting. Look at him. He's fighting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Still got some, he still got some heart in him. Chavez's corner has to think how much more punishment can their man take. They start a fresh round, coming off on, yet another round, which their man was down in. Look, Joe, there's been tremendous comebacks in this sport before. You just never know about how deep the reserve is in one man's body. Keep it up. There he is, working the body. Come on, let's go. Is not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now he's trying to counter punch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hair dyed, you know? And he thought he thought it was gonna be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, Wow, what the heck did I do? I didn't think I was gonna look like this. I didn't think that I was gonna box like this. Takes one, gets Ooh. one. The right hand scores well. Kodo's showing you that sublime skill right now. With Ooh, run. let's go. Halfway into round number five here. Cotto's punch didn't come close. Chavez is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a Ooh, crisp okay. combination. Effective work with that flush overhand right. This guy's fighting. Right hand, ah, I gotta be careful though. Well placed, I can't, I can't get body. caught up in the mix with that. Off to the side, Ooh. A swing and a miss going upstairs. Chavez is putting forth a great combination there. Just ten seconds to go in this round. <laughs> this guy is really taunting. I don't know why, nigga. I don't know why you're taunting. And fuck, man. Miguel's Co Miguel Cotto's face is fucking busted right now. All right. It's all good, though. We got this. We got this in the bag. I just got to uh, knock out. But I'm pretty sure that I can do this. Six round now underway. Let's see who can really come on here in the second half. Chavez's work rate is impressive, Teddy, but his connect percentage is not. No, there's two reasons for it. So one oh. is his opponent is pretty smart there. You know, he's not just standing there saying, hey, get this. He's moving, he's doing smart defensively. The other thing is the punch is a little too wide. He needs to shorten him up a little. Huge left hand from Ooh, Cotto. let's go. Chavez is showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. You got this one. Come on. 
A little head hunting with the right. Chavez's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. You can see the work by Cotto on the outside, utilizing that jab and landing his punches behind it. Let's go, nigga. Get the fuck out of my... Get out of here, man. Just get out of here. Don't even bother getting up. You're done. Shit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, yo. And in case... If, in case you guys did not know... Miguel Cotto is my favorite boxer and is my favorite fighter to watch whenever he is fighting. Uh, you know, just because I'm obviously Puerto Rican and he's Puerto Rican. So I'm always going to root for my, uh, my Puerto Rican fighters and shit like that. But that's pretty much the end of the fight. I told you guys that I was going to give you guys a knockout. And which round did I knock him out? I knocked him out in the sixth round. Look at that. <laughs> like, come on. Um, this, this guy did a, he did a hell of a job, though. I mean, he stood in the ring. He competed. He gave it his all. So, shout-outs to this guy. And it was a good fight. It was a really good fight. But there could only be one. And that's me. That's your boy, Smoke X9. So, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you guys enjoyed that KO, please leave a like. Leave some comments down in the comment section below. You know, and uh, subscribe for more uh, Fight Night videos. Other than that, I'm Smoke X9, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.